Hello, lovely people. Welcome back to Focus Hive. Today we are in discussion with one of my very old friend and my brother-in-law, Mr. Mahavi Singh Best. So there is like another one. So there is like so I mean around the same time, right? So I was also coping up with the with the new change in the role. And um, I was still in that techy techy mode, and uh, so there is like another thing which, which people did not like. So we, as an engineer, so I mean, uh, we we have a habit, right, to putting everybody in CC you know, while giving yeah, feedback. Yep, you yep, put people yep. in CC, and yeah, this is what you have to do and all that. But I, I I actually realized that some people, yes, this is again, this is like some kind of like non-verbal feedback. This is a feedback on email, and which. i feel people take it very 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 strongly that hey that's a very simple thing why why he has to mention it to the entire world <laughs> if he yeah, has yeah. figured out something then okay he would have told me if he being a very very constructive or he he really want to contribute something there so wha- i mean yeah. what what he is doing i mean is he trying to like advertise that he is still um, uh, okay he is still a techy and uh, he can get the things done or and that that again that was another feedback that i i got <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, some people I mean, say it's it's good idea yeah yeah but, yeah, so but i not, not have a uh, i have a video on this topic where i talk okay. about six different things to avoid on emails and this was one of that wherein we okay. should not cc people and how i take it or how i have explained it is if let's say you are helping me and if you are putting my manager in cc you're not helping me you're helping yourself by showing that you're helping me so that you get that brownie point so that's the whole point of view that i shared and said do not use cc for that yeah uh, if you yeah, just maybe, want help just go and help yeah yeah that's right but maybe trust me so i'm not a kind of person that who is like looking for those points but correct, but correct. that yeah it, it was kind of like perceived like that that okay this is this is what i'm trying to do and uh, it's it's like okay it's like flaunting my technical knowledge on the email hey, hey. people so take it like i that. i also people know so pe- so oh i mean that is that is another thing that i learned so th- so these are like two very important things that i have learned and um so i i'm like very thankful to my skip level manager that who actually gave me that feedback and he actually gave me some tips like oh, okay what you are telling that okay so if you want to be like constructive or uh, if if you want people so it's not like you want to be constructive or if you want to be like helpful if you want think you if you want um, some people to think that you are really helping them so Yeah. unless it is very much necessary to include their managers in cc don't do that if you want to do it yeah. just and trust me from that day onwards for any direct feedback also i only send that person i send email to that Correct. person hey this is what i have seen and uh, if i don't get the or or i actually rather just pick up the phone and actually talk to that person so Pretty very much. very rare cases i i'm thinking of including the manager in the loop but Yeah, so this is. I mean, these are the things which which yeah make sense, and uh, I mean these are the things which I feel that I learned it hard way, because uh, I I feel like I mean non tech I mean non tech thing managing managing people or uh, things are like simple, but it's it's not that simple. It's like it is it is true. also techy, right? So it's true, you true, are true. dealing with so, like human psychology, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, what I say like when. I mean, I'm, I've known you for so many years, and I know that you're a very, very technical person. And uh, I know the, this for fact that anyone who is in a technical role, who's been working techni- on technical stuff, solving problems, actually going in and resolving things, and when they move to a management role, it's a difficult change because the whole perspective has to change, and you have to let go of a lot of things. You have to just leave it. Uh, for your team to do those things, and it's very difficult, which is why I have whole set of videos and courses that I'm working on right now, which is going to kind of handle this because I know so many people who want to be a manager eventually, but they don't want to leave this technical field because it's really satisfying to solve problems day in and day out. So when they transition from a technical person to a manager. Uh, Yeah. So far, it's really amazing uh, that what we whatever we have discussed so far, right? So your learnings uh, while you were transitioning from an IC to a manager has been a journey, uh, 
and i'm sure when you look back you'll be really proud of things that you've changed in yourself and how you handle the team now yeah that yeah that yeah those are the things because yeah managing people yeah it's it's not simple it's yeah it's it's like a lot of expectations and um, yeah maybe you think that okay you just uh, because the same okay words and uh, okay same words i used to tell before to the same set of people Correct. now it it Correct. means different now right <laughs> and yes. they they take yes. it like uh, they take it uh, uh very differently and i'm i'm not kind of person that okay i i was yeah okay maybe for a cer- for a certain period i i used to be the same guy and um, and try to somehow kind of like okay convince myself that hey i'm i'm still i mean their guy but and i can still go casual why they are taking it like little differently <laughs> but i realize no it's not how hard i would do but it is it is yeah some some tag that you got it now which yeah which will which will um, react little differently even they they don't want right. to be but still right. yeah so that tag and unfortunately it's it's not something that you have done uh you you obviously worked really hard to achieve that title or that growth and because of that everybody else will start treating you differently and yeah that's the challenge that's the challenge yeah that's a, so, i mean so few things that are yeah, so there was like um, there was like one of the other thing also about the feedback uh, so uh-huh. so feedback as in um, i i would say that uh, when sometimes um, i mean they're like okay few set of people they are like repeatedly doing same things and uh, so it was i mean easy in the past to actually tell them, hey don't do that you you can give a direct feedback and you can be like very right. vocal and let's do that and but now when 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 you are into a different role then you you have to like put it little differently and i was initially kind of little struggling with that that hey how to actually how to actually pass on this message and sometimes if one person is repeatedly doing the same thing again and again and somehow i was not uh, very comfortable around that person and then um, yeah so then i actually discussed this thing with my manager the hey this is this is what is happening and uh, um, so i, I mean is, is, um, is there something else that i could do and he told me very important thing which i really liked and i want like uh, i would like to share here is you look at the problem you actually differentiate between a problem and do not tag to a person okay so one person has a certain um, he has a certain habit and he's repeatedly doing it and rather than you are kind of like okay tagging that problem to that person and then branding that person as that will not help okay so right. just differentiate between the problem and the person and try to solve the problem and then uh, you will you will establish a better connection with that person and actually that actually helped me so when i mm-hmm. started looking at the problem as a problem and differentiating with the person yeah it it actually helped so the same set of guys which i i somehow like finding little difficult to okay tackle with them and now i am not looking at looking at them because of the problem and i made a different personality of them <laughs> because of that but now i'm looking at problem very differently and i know that how to actually handle that so that is another thing and uh, so i am so i have a very good relationship with them now yeah so this is like another thing i thought that i'll i'll share with you that um, perfect i mean you you it, it you, actually, you are getting you're getting enough experience now but let me ask you one question before that let yeah. me ask you when we were engineers right uh-huh. we always used to say to karta kya hai right <laughs> now we know <laughs> now we know yeah, seriously man that uh-huh. was now now i respect <laughs> it's not that is okay for techy yeah for things you can troubleshoot man it's easy it's like either uninstall reinstall or some bug <laughs> fix you can do <laughs> i wish we could have hot fixes for humans or yeah i wish yes that would have, oh is this guy has this problem hey apply that hot fix na 003 it will fix that correct, correct. yeah thanks sir like human it's really weird i mean you cannot fit one solution to everybody when in in this role yeah yeah so that's that's another thing right so um you i mean you know me for like for very long time and we were like okay we were engineers together and all that so and uh, so okay being um 
I mean, being uh, straight to the point used to be my trait, and I I love doing that. And um, so, I mean, how I put it across, but um, yeah, it's like okay, without um, uh, without um, using very comforting words, if I have to say something, I used to say it very directly and. <laughs> and that that I was I I actually been doing for very long time and um, so after into this role and <laughs> you cannot do the same thing now <laughs> you cannot as, do as that as a technical lead or as a backline member or a senior member of the team as as long as you are a technical person you can be as rude as you can and you can say yeah. this doesn't work that doesn't work you are you are whatever and you can i mean you can blast it out the moment it becomes to a management role like a tl or a sdm or a manager then you got to switch yeah that is that is right so now you have to be so because so the best part is i started using those okay putting things nicely using comforting words and uh, how to pass on to a very strict or out with i mean difficult uh, feedback and very comforting yeah. or encouraging words so i'm actually working a lot on my vocabulary these days and <laughs> and which is really difficult it's not that i cannot be like hey you you are not doing right and this is this is how it has to be done and you have to do this so yeah you you have to work you have to work a lot on your soft skills now so this is not this is not yeah you cannot play a role okay when you are in job so when you are into this role i think you transformed completely into that role be it your personal yep. or you you i mean you cannot be like different person in a professional life and into like okay when where you have to kind of like um, lead people and uh, then you can be same guy in your i mean in your personal life so yeah so i mean these things yeah yeah it it, it is helping me learn a lot of things in real life also actually So trust me I am I am like I'm using a lot of comforting words so you can you I mean we have like very common people right you can check with them so these says I'm I'm like I'm I'm different guy 